Hi Duck audience, welcome to Minecraft. Um, so, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail and the title of this video, I am showing, well, yeah, showing a way to make a monster spawner um, trap or some people call it a XP farm because it's constantly generating XP. So yeah, that's what I'm making. So this is on my creative world that I'm building a city on, um, so yeah, but my city isn't done right now and I need something to do that so I can post on my channel. If you can hear any background noise, that's Blue. He's eating lunch right now or yeah, I think it's lunch. I woke up not too long ago, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so this, this is a, um... First, okay, first things first, to make the monster spawner's trap, you need to find a monster spawner. I found this by blowing up random things, but in survival I'm sure when you go mining, you will come across one. Um, and then what spawns inside is either a spider, zombies, or skeletons. The best one is skeletons because you get XP and bones. Bones help you um, grow crops and you go to things. Um, also, if you're playing, depending on what difficulty you're playing on, you get like armor or swords. And with skeletons, you get bows and arrows and all that good stuff. So this is a spider, um, but and then the chest, you know, filled with stuff. Uh, so because this is a spider, I am going to change it because um, the skeleton monster spawner and the zombie monster spawner like creating the trap is both similar so um first we're gonna go i'm gonna show that one and then i'll show how to make one with the spider because the spider is somewhat difficult so um if you're on survival you're gonna need water so i just I recommend making an infinity pool so you can constantly have water so yeah but since i'm on creative i don't need it um, so this is what you'll come across. There's chest. I recommend breaking the chest. And you're gonna want to start by making um, this square underneath it. If you don't want to break, it's, this is a five by five square. If you don't want to break all of it, then that should um, be that should work. But if you can also just break this whole square, um, which is a seven by seven, in this monster spawner area. But I'm just going to do 5x5, five five, which will still work. If you do a 3x3, three three, there's a possibility that the um, monsters can spawn out of the trap. So that's why I recommend, like, it's better if you do a 5x5 five 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 square. And then do 6 um, blocks deep. So it's deep enough. Um, I'll show you why in just a sec. So here we are with this big deep um, hole and next you're going to break in over here. So when the, okay, let me, I'm going to try to explain how this works, but when the, um, when the monsters spawn, there's going to be water or water flow going that way. And when the monster drops in, the water will push the monster into another hole, which I'm going to make right here. And then it will allow you to keep killing them without being harmed by the monster. So next, um, you're going to need like, well, okay, when, when I put this water here, pretty much break until the water stops going. Here, um, let's count, let me count the blocks real quick. So yeah, it's nine blocks. I, I knew that, but I didn't want to mess it up. So, um needs nine blocks for the water to stop and then break this down I'm going to do another um, water flow going right there so now we're going I'm going to make the part where the monster will fall in so now you need to make like a hole deep enough I would say go down five blocks but again you can make that deeper a little bit if you want um, so like when the monster fall, it will just die automatically. And again, you're going to need nine blocks right here, two, three, four, five. So this is what it should start looking like. 
the this float is going this way and then this float is going that way this part does not matter so you can cover that as long as the water is flowing through and then now i'll go we're next we're going to go out down there but first before we go well, before i go down there um next this is the this is the place where you will uh cause the um monsters to start spawning because if you're not standing near the monster spawn then the monsters won't spawn so this is where you can stand or you even can stand up here if you make a um like an area just you got to be careful not to um for the monsters not to spawn by you so if you want you can build this up like this if you want to if you want to sit right here and watch them drop then you would have to build this up or else the monster will spawn they won't spawn like going down in the hole and then you would be stuck killing them and most likely dying also you want to make sure it's dark in here or else the monsters won't spawn so if you're making this on survival just put the torch as you build it and then um you know take the torch out uh, and if you're doing it on easy or like with the mobs on then you know just be careful but I usually when I make these I turn it on peaceful I know it some people call it cheating but I turn it on peaceful and then I build it and then I turn it back on easy normal or hard so then I don't die while making this trap um, so when making this like if you're gonna sit right here then you need to put like a way to get out you know so there, there's pretty much going to be two ways to get out that's the first one and then when you go down to actually kill them you're going to need another way out so you can just actually just make a ladder which is the easiest way going all the way down and um, it's all connected but uh, it's going to be kind of hard if you're it depends what caves because if the cave is like hard to navigate through then i recommend using stairs because it's just it's just easier honestly um so now this is the hole where the monsters would spawn now you need to make uh make the trap where they will sit so um if, okay zombies are different from skeletons but similar because zombies spawn baby zombies and sometimes they can escape through the trap so you would have to be careful for that but skeletons i've never seen a baby skeleton so but yeah so um you're pretty much just going to be needing one deep block like one by one block right here and then covering it covering it like this so they won't escape and then breaking this one down so you will be able to hit them like hit their legs so this is pretty much done um i hope i didn't make it seem complicated but now i'm just going to run through it to show what's going to happen i put it on normal um i can't turn off the night vision because then um you won't be able to see anything but so this is what it looks like you can do this but or you can do this they'll still spawn here and you wait for skeletons to pop out okay there they just popped out and then you go down you can go all the way down or see sometimes they get stuck but just stand here and they should come but that one is stuck so if you have an arrow just shoot them you know but going down then there they are they're trapped they cannot pretty much they can't see you so they can't hit you and just kill them like that and you constantly get um xp so yeah that's pretty much it and this skeleton another skeleton spawned and pretty much pushed that skeleton down so you know you don't have to shoot it eventually it will fall and yeah so that's how you make a monster spawner for a zombie and um skeleton 
So this video is too long than what I like to make. So I'm just going to end it there and make a separate video for the spider because the spider is a different mod. You gotta make a different trap for it. So that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, like the video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And hit the notification bell to be notified for further videos. And until the next video.